And the final news story we have for you today is Tony Khan not allowing Brian Danielson to do indie dates or at least one specific indie show is based in basically his hometown up there near Seattle, Washington. Last week, Defy Wrestling hosted the first ever live wrestling show on Pluto TV. The main event saw Filthy Tom Lawler taking on John Moxley with John Moxley coming out victorious in a tremendous bloodbath of a match. This match was so fun to watch. This is a great main event. And after the match, Moxley spoke a little. He said, Lawler, he's now a friend of the BCC. Defy, they're a friend of All Elite Wrestling. I want to come back here to Defy. You guys like tag team wrestling? Well, I need to get a little loud. Maybe if you guys can get loud enough, you can, you can help me find wherever Brian Daniels, whatever mountain he's hiding in, and get him to come here with me. Well, according to Dave Meltzer in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, looks like AEW may not want Danielson, at least not yet, to work Defy or anything else in the Seattle area, as Meltzer wrote the following. As a personality, he's Major League. Moxley said that Lawler was a friend of the Blackpool Combat Club and that he considers Defy a friend of AEW. Then he asked the crowd if they like tag team wrestling. He said if you scream loud enough, the next time he comes, he may bring Brian Danielson. The noise was deafening from that. Like, it was loud. And people that were there said that that's the loudest they've ever heard a Defy crowd. And Defy crowds are always loud and rowdy. Well, Meltzer stated, The basic situation is that Danielson has expressed interest in working for Defy. However, Defy has been told that AEW wants Danielson's first Seattle match to be when they debut in the market. Another however, there's no date for that. That's why I was surprised they didn't run Seattle in June because they rarely come to the West Coast. So with that, Defy is under the impression from AEW that no, they can't book Brian Danielson because he hasn't worked Seattle for them yet. When are they going to go to Seattle? Who the hell knows? So you got technically... Three West Coast dates. If you count Vegas as West Coast, that's it. Two in California, down in SoCal, and the one in Vegas. Well, actually, no. I take that back. There's three, so it's five. Three Vegas shows, two California shows. And so it's like, okay, you're going to tell this guy that really wants to go work Defy in Seattle? You can't. Well, you know the first argument he can use if he wants to argue it. Well, why is Mox working Defy? Why can Mox work it and not me? I'm the hometown boy. I'm from Amberdeen, Washington, right outside of Seattle, you know? So it's very weird that Tony Khan basically informed Defy that they can't have Brian Danielson until after they debut in Seattle. My whole feeling is it's probably the assumption of, well, if Defy, if people can go watch Danielson for Defy on cheap tickets, why would they, you know, come to AEW? They would either go to him in Defy or wait and see if he comes to Defy and not go to the AEW show. But AEW's going to, I think they're going to draw there regardless. I think this is kind of stupid on AEW's part to do. Because it's like, oh, Danielson's your only draw? Danielson's your only draw in the Northwest? Danielson's your only draw in Seattle? No. You've got Sting. You've got Punk. You've got Moxley. You've got Jericho. You've got a lot of guys. Darby, Sammy, Andrade. you got a lot of guys that people want to come see. Not just... One guy, yes, he's the hometown boy, technically. But he's not going to be the reason you do or don't sell out the crowd, the, the, the venue. He's not the reason you do or don't draw a decent house. He's not the reason you do or don't have an actual good television crowd. No. I mean, shit, you got Punk. They'll come just to see Punk. So tell him Defy, you can't have Danielson until we go to Seattle. When we're going to Seattle, who the hell knows? Tell him Defy that is kind of dumb. Just, in my opinion, a little dumb. So, we'll see how that all does play out. But as of right now, Defy is under the impression that they can't have uh, Brian Danielson until after AEW makes their Seattle debut. And if we look at Defy's, Defy Wrestling, and their schedule, I think they have a show in June, I want to say. Their next show is June 5th. Sunday, June 5th. Also, they have not announced that that show will be live on Pluto or not. The last show was said to be a success. And here's the thing. So, let me look at something really fast. 
So if we look at how much AEW sells their tickets for, AEW tickets sell starting at $30. Cheapest ticket for this week's AEW, and that's New York. They can mark up the prices. Let's go somewhere else. Let's look somewhere else. Let's go Houston. Houston, Texas. That's a neutral area where they sell tickets for. Um, let's see. They got a rampage in Houston. Tickets are, well, oh, that's actually even more expensive. What the heck? That's interesting. $50. So we'll say $30 for a ticket to go to AEW. Defy's next show, five bucks. Tickets starting at five bucks. So it's like, okay, do we announce Danielson and then everyone goes to season for five bucks? It says, screw, we don't want to go to AEW, even though there's the only, and here's the other thing. Defy's only got no more than 200 people in their shows, if that. If that. I don't even think that venue holds more than 150, 200 people. So it's like if AEW's worried that everybody that would want to come to their show is just going to go see Danielson and Defy, no, it's going to be a very small sliver. Hell, let them go to Defy. And then let everyone go, man, I couldn't get a Defy ticket. Man, I couldn't get a Defy. Oh, they're coming with AEW. I'm going to go see Danielson and AEW. Then they'll spend the money because they couldn't see him with Defy. He does something cool with Defy, and then they go see him with AEW. That's the better play, in my opinion. Because they're, wor they're worried of, oh, well, they can go see him in Defy for $5. Why would they want to see him for us for $30 or $50? You know? But, again, it's only a, if they're selling out, you know, 10,000 seat arenas for, or say they go to a five, 6,000, like this week's show, they ran, they ran in Baltimore where AEW or ROH used to run. So it was a five to 5,500 seat building. So you take that and you want to sell that. Say you get a building that size. You want to sell that out in the Seattle area. You go, well, if everyone goes to Defy, they're not going to want to come here. You're still going to basically sell it out. You're still going to basically sell it out. So I think this is stupid in my opinion. Maybe we'll get more context on this. Maybe Meltzer was wrong. Maybe Meltzer just doesn't have the full context. But as far as what Meltzer was told, Meltzer did state, quote, if I had been told that AEW wants Danielson's first Seattle match to be when they debut in the market, yet they've got no date for that. So, again, we'll see what this all means, but it kind of sounds stupid to me.